Hi there. We're going to undertake a very involved topic and some of the things you're going to have to do are memorize these seven graphs. All right, and we're going to go over them right now. This is the graph of y equals x right here, straight line through the origin. This is the graph of y equals x squared. This is the graph of y equals x cubed. This is the graph of y equals the absolute value of x. This is the graph of y equals the square root of x. This is the graph of y equals the cube root of x. And this is the graph of y equals 1 over x. Okay, you're going to have to generally memorize what they look like because we're going to be moving them left and right and up and down and turning them upside down. Uh, in other words, we're going to be translating and reflecting and that's what this video is about. Okay, here's our friend, the wabbit emu. Let's graph y equals x squared. And let me bring out the, uh, the larger version. It's called the detached LED. there now. I can move this up. If I go back to y equals and I come over to ah, there, the end, I can add a plus 3 and that will actually physically move the graph up three places. And I can go back. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. I can delete, delete. Go back to y equals x squared. Now I can move it down by coming over to the end and adding a minus 3. Not a negative 3, a minus 3. And then graph it. Boom. And now it's moved from there down to there. And now it's crossing the y-axis at negative 3. y equals negative 3. Okay, so I can move my graphs up and down just by adding or subtracting a number at the very end of the graph. Not only that, there's something else that's even cooler. Let me take this back to where it was. Okay, and now I'm going to delete, delete. Um, all right, let's look at the regular graph of y equals x squared and now I'm going to go back to y equals and I am going to, if you look above the delete key, you'll see insert. If I go second delete, I'll be able to insert and what I want to insert is a negative sign right there. Okay, and now I'll move over to the end so you can see it. There. I now am going to graph y equals negative x squared. That negative sign in front turns the graph upside down. And we can turn the graph right side up again just by deleting the negative sign. And here's the graph all back the way it was. 
These are called vertical shifts or vertical translations. Now we can move the graph of y equals x squared to the side, but it's a little more trouble, so bear with me for a minute. Okay, I'm going to clear this. I'm going to write parentheses x plus 3, parentheses closed, squared. And what this does, you'll never guess if you don't hit graph, what this does is this plus 3 on the inside of the parentheses with the x will actually move it to the left three places. When I was a student, I was really, really surprised. I never expected a plus 3 in the parentheses to move the graph to the left, but it does. This is the left translation. This is a left translation. Now, if I change this plus sign to a minus sign, just a regular subtraction sign, and then graph, now I've moved y equals x squared to the right three places. Generally speaking, if you have parentheses and either a minus a number or a plus, minus a number or plus a number at the end of the x in parentheses, you're going to move in the opposite direction from the sign. Okay, and there's a reason for that, but I don't want to go over it, into it right now. I'll go into it in class. But for now, all you have to remember is that a minus 3 in the parentheses will move the graph of x squared to the right three places. And a plus 3 in the parentheses with the x will move the x squared, if you put a plus there, to the left three places. You move left and right in the opposite direction of the sign. You move up and down in the same direction as the sign. Okay, now we've moved this to the right three places. We've moved x squared to the right three places. If I second insert a negative sign, I not only will have moved the graph of y equals x squared to the right three places, but I have flipped it upside down. It's pretty good, I think. Pretty good. And before you forget, let's go back to just x squared. Okay. And you can combine these. All right, let me put my window back to where it was by going, ah, by going zoom 6. That always puts you back on your 10 by 10 window. 10 to the left, 10 to the right, 10 up, 10 down. Okay. Um, we can actually move, we can move this parabola to the right three places and down two places. Let's do that. Okay, now this will move it down two places if I go minus two and graph. Now to move over to the right three, I have to insert a parenthesis. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to insert a left parenthesis, and then I'm going to come over and put it. Did I say go to the right? Yes. Okay, so we'll put minus 3, and then close the parentheses, 
come on over to the end and then I'm actually going to go down to get this out of the way so that you can see clearly what I'm doing. I've got a parabola, an x square parabola. I'm moving it to the right three places and I'm moving down two places. And so there I go. That is incredible. Okay. Now, suppose I put a whole number in front of that paren. Suppose I go second insert and I insert a 5. What do you think is going to happen? I've made it skinnier. Okay, let me go back. Without the 5, if I delete the 5, now let's graph. Okay, now if I put a 5 back in there, what I've done is I have stretched the parabola vertically. I've stretched it vertically so it's actually gotten skinnier. Now watch this. Let's go back to what it really looked like in the beginning. So there we are. Here's what it looked like. It's still translated to the right three and down two. I'm going to make, I am going to uh, uh, squish it vertically, okay? Just watch. By putting a fraction, not a whole number, but a fraction, in front of the parentheses, like what kind of fraction? How about 0.2? That's a fraction. After all, a decimal is a fraction. So let's second insert 0.2. Okay, so now let me move the cursor over. I just don't want you to get in confused. There we have. We have 0.2, parentheses, x minus 3, parentheses, close squared, minus 2. And I'm going to graph it and you're going to see it's much fatter. Whoa! Alright, so putting a whole number, a whole number in front of the x minus 3, that is a whole number bigger than 1, in front of the x minus 3, I made it skinnier and putting a fraction 0.2 is just one-fifth. I could have said one-fifth. Putting a fraction in front of the parentheses made it a lot fatter. Okay? So you can also do things like that by coding. You're going to need to read this section very, very well because there are things you're going to be doing in the homework that you never thought possible. You're going to get to be really creative. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.